Okay, we are starting recording. We will continue learning uh, PHP because that's what uh, Sir Goods told me to teach you. So let's start our virtual machine. Ali, ano ba starting virtual machine? Virtual box. Mm, web systems and technologies. Yata yun. Do you know that you can have you can start many virtual machines? You can start all of them. I tried to start three of them last this morning, but the computer is uh, slow. So I shut down again the others virtual machines. Okay, now we are logged in. LS lists the folders. Sudo makes you root. Sudo bash makes you root. Here, okay, let me make it the screen bigger. Mali, mali. Let's view it and scale mode. Para malaki. Yan. Sudo bash makes you root. And in Vietnami, I think the files are in op Vietnami and Apache and htdocs. PDIR is like a uh, list files but vertically. So it shows the permissions, the owner, the group, the size, the date, and the file name. So, bakit may cuff dito? Anong inside? Anong laman ng cuff? Yung try. Anong laman ng try? Wala. It's just an exit. Okay. It looks like this uh, virtual machine is newly configured. There is nothing here. I'm Trying to see the IP address. The IP address is 192.168.56.102. So, if I should type here 192.168.56.102, and so, anong gagawin natin ngayon? Anong gusto niyo gawin ngayon class? You will make an uh, ano? Anong magandang gawin nyo yun? Anong gusto nyo yung ano, paggawa sa akin? Ano daw? What do you want me to do? I will try to do it. So that you will find, you will see how I do it and then you can learn how to do it. And then I will explain. May, may sinasabi kayo yun, nakalim, hindi ko marinig. What small system you want to? I think we did already library. Dito ba, di ba? Anong gagawin natin? Cuff. Gawa ka tayo na ng cuff. Ano bang ginagawa ng cuff? Nagdadagdag ng load yung DSF at nagbabawas ng load yung cuff. Madali lang yun! Sige, let's make a cafeteria system. First, we have to do system analysis. What does it do? So the DSF puts load and the cafeteria reduces load. Do you understand? Okay. So we will make only two pages, one for adding load and one for reducing load. Actually, we can only make one. 
for adding load is plus and for reducing load is minus. <laughs> diba? And it will show the balance. Yan lang naman yata yun eh. Never mind the spoons and the forks and the ulam and the rice. <clears throat> okay, let's make a cafeteria. To connect to Postgres, we usually connect, I wonder if we can connect with Postgres, what kind of user? But I think I have something here already. I saw a password here, WinGP password A, okay. I'm going to type the SQL user WinGP. Ano bang nakasulit yan? DB name WinGP, okay. My password, ang password ay A. Yun, nakapasok ako. To list tables, you can type in Postgres, you can type backslash D, T, ayun, oh. backslash D, T. Like in my SQL, diba show, ano, show databases or show tables yan tayo. In Postgres, you can type backslash D, T. So we are going to create a create a Kaujan. Create table. Uh, ano gagawin natin dito sa table? Half credits. Oh, ano ba Kaujan? Half uh, ledger. Okay, it has account name, account number, account na lang kasi number naman talaga yan. And then in, and uh, explanation, text and amount, which is numeric, how many numbers you want? 10, 20 digits and 2 digits after the period. And, of course, transaction number. The transaction number should be here in front. All of our tables should have a primary key. So, for example, we will put transaction number in a serial, ano na bang nilalagay dito? Serial ba? I think it's serial. Let me try. Yun, create. Okay, let me, I change my mind. Drop table, cap ledger. I will create, I will put transic. Transaction sequence. Yan. Para maganda. Mas maganda ang Sura. And then I will make a page to load account. Uh -huh. So I will just make I will copy this one test PHP that PHP to load. So I don't have to type. And then I will pico load that PHP so that I don't have to type the connection things. And then in the load.php, oh, wait, wait. For simplicity class, because you are still new, I will separate the PHP with the, the form with the, uh, no, with the form submit. So I will make another form called load. No, I will I will rename this to move load.php to load submit.php. And then I will edit a load.php. And then I will just put HTML body h1 calf loader. And then I'll make a form method post action equals 
uh, load submit dot php and then I'll make a table PR account name account number I'll put a TD here and then I'll put a TD input type number pwede kaya yung type number name account required and then another tr tb explanation input type equals text name equals explanation another one tb amount name equals amount I want to require everything another one TD is another TD TD input type submit and then table Control O. So let's see. Uh, ano mga pangalan nun? Load that PHP. Okay, it looks nice. Maliyata yung akong submit na. Ang okay lang basta gumagana. The head is optional. You know what? I can, you can remove all the tabs as long as it looks good in the browser. You will save typing and, uh, no. but for simplicity, I put everything so that it's not so weird. Whether it works or not, the browser, you ask the browser. If it works with the browser, then it will work. But you don't have, you should ask many browsers. You should try Chrome, Edge, and other things. Okay, we already have this. I'm going to load myself two two zero 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 seven seven six nine. I'm going to say uh, uh, one one month load, additional load, and then I'm going to load myself twelve thousand peso. Wow! When I click submit. One, two, three, one, two, three lang. <laughs> it doesn't do anything yet. So let's see load submit. Tico load submit. You should watch class so that uh, you can load yourself in the cup. Oh, di ba? Ayo, ah, when I load niyan, nakatingin na sila. <laughs> we will load ourselves in our imaginary cup. <laughs> okay. Let's connect to database. That one we are connected already. Let's create an insert statement here. Insert into ano nang pangalan ng table kanina? Ay, nakalimutan natin yung pangalan ng table. Saan yung SQL natin? Cup ledger. So cup ledger trans account explanation naman. Okay. Alam niyo kung bakit dalawa ang monitor ng mga programmer? Hindi nila matandaan kung ano yung tiring na nila kani na lang. <laughs> Nakatingin pa lang natin, hindi na natin matandaan kung ano na sa likod ng window. Tama ba? Pero hindi pa rin ako umamin na hindi ko matandaan. Isa lang ang monitor ko. Cuff Ledger. Uh, 
amount, uh, no, 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 account number, explanation, and amount, values, and then we will put a account uh, single code. Account X explanation 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 and dollar amount. Okay, amount. We are spelling amount. Pero those variables are still blank. We have to get the variables from the get uh, post array. And to avoid hackers destroying our program, we should pg escape string to avoid SQL injection because hackers can uh, type SQL statements if we don't escape the SQL statements. If we don't put PG escape string, hackers can type semicolon and type SQL statements and can do whatever they want with SQL statements that they type. It's called SQL injection. But with PG escape string, they cannot type SQL injection. It's supposed to be explanation. Post uh, explanation. Uh, and so not amount. Dollar post amount. Parang tama na yata. Parang tama na class. It looks okay. But we will never know if it's okay until we try it. I will let me try if something happens. Or oh, nothing happens. It did not complain that there's an error, but it also did not return a result. Oh, returning. Dapat meron ako returning sa dulo. Returning. Amount. Ulitin ko nga. Tingnan natin. Let's try again. I will load the uh, 123 pesos. Huy. It returned 1, 2, 3. In, in SQL, you can, you can send a, you can send a query and you can put returning at the end. It, it will return something. So I just returned something whatever amount is loaded. It looks like it did not die because uh, if there's an error, it should have terminated here and told us what the error is. Instead, it displayed the one, two, three. So class, let it is my honor to introduce to you the contents of the table. <laughs> Select asterisk from calf ledger. Wow. We have calf load now of 12,123. Do oh, you want to sum to get the amount for my account number? Just make an SQL statement. Oh, diba? Ganyan lang. So let's make another, another, uh, let's make, oh, let's make it display the total amount, yeah? We will display the total amount. Let's see if we can, Display the total amount here. 
I'll put here loaded. Loaded. And then total. We'll put a total class. We'll put total. Echo. Total. Total load. Of course, it's blank. How do we know the total load? We will make another SQL statement. Select some amount from calf ledger where account equals where's our ID number? Account. So it should get the result to the PG query SQL2 if not res die cannot uh, sum total load query failed and this is the query otherwise we will just display the total load which is in pg result result to zero 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 i will say of course why are you copying i haven't tested it before you copy i should test first one two three four oi i loaded 123 1234 the total load is 13,357. We are getting rich, class. So you should pay attention to what we are doing. <laughs> okay. We can load now, na, na, right? Now let's make the cafeteria interface. The cafeteria interface is very easy. We will just copy the load. <laughs> We will just copy load that PHP to what will you call it? Deload. <laughs> deload that PHP. Because the other one is load, the other one is deload. And I will copy also load submit that PHP to deload that PHP. And I will edit deload that php and i will insert i will just insert a negative number <laughs> i will just insert negative number and it will deload loaded uh deloaded okay i think it's done <laughs> i tell you class Everything is very easy. Okay, let's try. The people from the CAF supposed to load, deload that PHP. Oh, but query error na to. Mali ata. Ano to? Deload that PHP. No, there is something wrong. It's supposed to be deload submit that PHP. So, I made a mistake. Ayan, ganyan dapat. <clears throat> okay. Deload that PHP? Okay, let's uh, pico deload. It should be it should be class of deloader <laughs> and the action should be deload submit oh diba 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 okay so my friends yan ito na yung cough deloader natin what's your id number sir 2007769 What are you eating sir? 
rice and beans. Rice beans. How much? 100. Uh, magkano ba yung rice bean? 60. May makakain pa ba 60 sa cup? Isang ulam, isang rice. 60. I will just eat later when I get hungry again. My ID number is 2007769. Let's try to submit. Yun, see, si, see. Si. Below dead, 60. Oh, nabawasan na kanina, 13,200. 297. Oh, may pang deload na tayo, class. May pang deload. The problem is, sometimes the cafeteria will be tempted. Sabi nung kaf, Sir, bayaran mo ako, you pay me, I will load you. Instead of I will deload you. So they will enter here negative, ano, 1 million. Negative 1 million. Pag nagsabit sila ng negative 1 million, ano mangyari, class? Yung negative, pag naging negative, ilan? Negative 1 million, uh, minus negative 1 million, ilan ang total? Do you know? May money, minus negative 1 million. How much? Positive 1 million. So if the smart people in the cup load, they load you negative number, tingnan nyo mangyari class. Nag-error. <laughs> Query error daw. Kasi naging negative, negative. O nga, bawal na ng negative. Sige, sige. Mabuti hindi gumana. Bakit ganun? Ah, kasi string. Oh, pero pag hindi ko yun string, gagana yun. Sige, sige. Mabuti hindi gumagana. Nag-error. How, how do I know my load, sir? Very easy. Let's make a uh, ano, load query. Uh, cough. Yan. So, tayo ng load query. Select amount, a sum amount from calf ledger where account equals account. And yung account, kukupay natin sa dollar get account. Yan. Tapos class, i-display natin yung ano, tapos tapos na. I-display natin yung amount uh, load. Okay. Let's see, it's called, uh, we'll get the file name, load query, load query, load query of 2007769, run, load query for 2007769 is 123.97 pesos. Lagyan natin ang ano. So class, any question? Very easy. We can make a cafeteria system in one hour. <laughs> Walang password, password. Again, password yung computer. But the hackers will find out the IP address and they will load. <laughs> then you protect your network from hackers. Okay. O, oh, di ba, class? Tapos na ang ating CAF system. Let me explain now since it worked. Uh, where is the explanation? Which file do you want me to explain first?
wala, o oh, sige, gawa na kayo. <laughs> Pag wala kayong tanong ay, gawin nyo na yung ginawa ko, o oh, may one hour pa kayo. <laughs> okay, it's already 4.50, hindi, 30 minutes na lang pala. Okay, maybe I will explain, alin ang gusto nyo explain class? Yung una, ano bang una kong ginawa? So I'll let to summarize, I just, we were, we were thinking, what is the cuff and the DSF do? The DSF loads, the cuff deloads. So we have made our own ledger. It has a transaction sequence. By the way, let's see our ledger, what happened. In SQL, sana yung aking SQL dito. So this is our ledger. We have a transaction sequence, account number, explanation, and the amount whether it's O. Oh, yeah, no, pag may load positive, pag may kinain ka negative. Diba? Dapat may isa pang ano, function. Uh, para, so that you can see what you eat. Diba? What did I eat? Okay, let's put it here. I think it's better to put it in the file load query. Very easy. Total load, okay. We will just make another SQL statement here. It will just say select asterisk from cuff ledger where account equals dollar account. You should type fast class so that di kayo maabutan ng ano, ng humahabol sa inyo. Yan. Bilisan natin mag-type. So, we have now an SQL statement. Now we are going to have a loop that will display all the rows. So, I will use a dollar $i from zero row. Dollar while i is less than the rows of the result two and increment i but i want to have table because table looks nice and and inside the loop i will display table row and after displaying table row, I'm going to make another loop which will display all the fields in the row. PG num fields result 2. Plus you just watch because while you watch, you learn. May tinanong yung mga ano, Yung pinakamayaman, tinanong nila, anong pinakamapowerful na bagay? Sabi ni Bill Gates, concentration, a focus pala, focus. Pag tinutukan mo isang bagay, magagawa mo. Pag, pero pag scroll ka ng scroll dyan sa, ano, <laughs> sa Facebook at sa YouTube, makita mo, isang buwan ka na pala nag-scroll, wala ka pang nagawa sa buhay. <laughs> Tama ba? Subukan ko na yun eh. Ano na ang ginagawa natin dito, class? Press 2. Dollar I, dollar J. Okay. Maybe if I do this 100 times in front of you, you can do it even without thinking. Yan. Tingnan natin kung tama. What's the name of this? Load query. Where is my browser? I will load query again. Hmm. Wala naman lumabas ah. Walang lumabas dito. What's wrong? What's wrong my friends? I think there's a cache. Ba't walang ka error error? Baka niloloko lang tayo itong computer na ito. Wala naman ka error error oh. I suspect there is a cache. 
Mamaya pa yan na under. Tignan nyo. Pagka one minute. Then we will know there is error. Or we can turn off the cache. Where is the cache? This cache. CDPHP. ETC. It's here. It's in PHP that inici. PHP that ini. Where is op cache? Control W op cache. Yun. Aka disable naman na. Op cache enable zero. Baka talagang mali. Load query. Okay. Now, class, we are going to try to troubleshoot. This is a skill also. I don't know what's wrong, but there is something wrong. Because they're supposed to show the... I know. It's supposed to show all of the transactions. Why it's not showing anything? I try to view source. Wala rin. My table. My TR. But it doesn't... Oh, at least nakarating sa table at saka sa TR. For J, nam fields J... Oh, alam ko na class. I forgot to increment J++. So it never ends. <laughs> I forgot. Kung hindi umaandar ang program nyo, kayo ang may kasalanan. Hindi pa rin umaandar. Ang problema, hindi pa rin naandar. <laughs> Ba't hindi pa rin naandar class? J++, I++, results. Results, results. Ayaw pa rin. What's wrong? Nakakarating siya sa TR. But not to hanggang TR lang. I will type X. Tingnan ko kung may larabas na X. Uy, may X. Bakit hanggang x lang? j equals 0 while j is less than pg num fields rest to j plus plus echo td pg result ah, pg results pg result lang dapat to kasi hindi nagre-reklamo itong php yun! o di nakikita ko na kung anong kinain ko at saka mga load ko. Eh, paano kung, what if we want to load somebody else? Ano na yung pangalan na pang load natin? Ah, ito, load. Sinong gusto magka-upload? Sabihin nyo lang ID number. Eight three seven. Tignan natin kung magkakalood kayo sa kap. Anong gusto mong ano to? Bonus. How much load you want? Until 20 digits. <laughs> Let's put 9 million load. Ah, ah. Oh. When you are a programmer, you can be very rich. Oh, na load! Woo! 9,999,999 pesos. Let's see the load, yeah? Tingnan natin. But I don't remember the ID number, so I will copy ID number. And ano na nga yung, ano na nga yung file name mo kanina? Uh, load query. 
Lagayin natin dito yung ID number mo. Wow! You see, you have bonus of almost 10 million. Piso na lang, 10 million na. <laughs> okay. So we have one for putting load, one for getting, uh, reducing load, and one for uh, displaying the load and the transactions, the total and the transactions, yeah? I, I, I added one more ID number to convince you that it works. Hindi naghalo-halo yung load ko at lang yung load niya, di ba? Ito yung load niya. Yung load ko ay ito, o di ba? Yung load ko ay 13,000 lang. Yung load niya ay 9 million, di ba, di ba? But I did not put a user interface for the load query. I just type the ID number in the in the URL. Now that it works, I will explain to you. So I will explain to you slowly because you are slow. <laughs> because you are still new. I want you to be fast, but you are not uh, yet uh, fast. So class, you know how to be fast? Be simple. You may, me, my, 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 ano, I want to make it run first before I make it nice. Because some of my classmates, they want to make it nice and it never runs. <laughs> diba, diba? So that's my philosophy in programming. Ano nang may explain ko sa inyo? Yung load. I think yung load muna. Ganyan lang naman yung load class. It's just HTML and forms and table. You have any question with this? No question. Very good. Yung load submit. Ito oh. yung, yung ano, load that Right guy. Dito. Ito naman yung load submit. So this one, it submits to load submit. I mean, when you click it in the browser, it will render this and it will send the data that you enter to, I don't know, to load submit the page. In the server, if you run, it will connect to the database with the password, the initial name, and the name. If there's no connection, it will just terminate, right? It will get the amount from the post array because we are using post method here. And we are preventing hackers from getting from typing SQL statements to so use PG escape state. Um, okay, next, in our remaining time, I will show you what the hacker can do if we don't use PG escape state. <laughs> so, we are inserting into the path ledger. This is just an SQL statement. If you study in the database, you already know that. If you did not study the database, it's very easy. And then you will send the field to the, to the, to the no, database. And the query will return a result. If the result is null, we just terminate and we tell the error, and then there's, there's an error, and then tell the SQL statement so we can troubleshoot it. Otherwise, you can just display loaded. This is a, a literal screen. We will append, we will uh, concatenate it with the result. The result, this result, this one, which row, this one. Which column? This one. So it's zero, zero, row, column. And it is a break, top left hand. And a total load, display total load string. And then we clear the database again, select some amount for company server amount was another account. And we send the query to the database. And then the result, the result, is only two, six row. It's supposed to be rest. Rest. If the result is wrong, 
we need to say that it's nothing wrong. Otherwise, it should go SQL. Yeah. Okay, it's doing SQL, and then goes up and again. It will rescue that or drop up the issue, and it's also going to go up and again. We have to take the other result away with that. So we have this, yeah, this is the one that I'm talking about. So we will just display the uh, top handle. Any questions? So the handle is there a start of all. Uh, I mean, if you go to the GPT, you can use the model, which is more than or less than the model. You count the vector, or you? Account number. Account number? So you can prevent the money in the social property. You can pay the money? You can pay account number in the social property. Account number there? Account number there? Account number there? Account number there? Di mali yung ano, naman. <laughs> ah, ibig sabihin dapat hindi gagana pag ano? Yes. Hmm. Paano natin nalaman kung mali? Paano natin malalaman kung mali? Halimbawa, tama naman na? Tama ba? Yung sa akin tama o, oh. di ba tingin mo yung ID number nyo? Two, two, sa kap, o kaya sa, di, sa accounting, ang account number nyo ay 2200769. Pero ang ID number nyo, 2007769 lang. Di ba, di ba? Yun yung sa accounting ako sa DSF. May two yan before. Hindi yun naman ID number yan, may account number. Mariko lang ito ka. Hindi. Sa accounting kasi may 2 yung start. Hindi ko naiintindihan yung tanong. Ito yung sobra. Hindi. Pag may account mo, sobra or kulang pag pinagkita sa website. Sige nga. Pants. Hindi ko masundan eh. Ano ba? Ito. Pag sobra ka, Ganto, at mga ganyan. Siyempre, mga mali yan. Walang reklamo. Uy. Masyado daw marami. Masyado yata marami. Oh. Yan o, oh, nag-load siya sa account number na 124124. So, pagtingin natin dito. May pera na hindi natin alam po sinin. Kasi yung DSF hindi nagtitingin ng ID number ng student. Kaya pati tingnan nila as bang number pa rin. Problema pa ba natin yun na problema nila yun? Alam ko na, para mabuhasan ang problema, dapat i-scan na lang. Boop! Diba? Pero ang lumalabas dito sa scanner, hindi ID number. Ano? RFID. Nakagamit pa rin RFID. As programmer. Pangigaw nga yun. <laughs> magdadala kami uh, bukas. Next time, magdadala si John ng... May mga reader na ano, diba? Ng reader para ma... Ano? Para try natin. Para hindi lang kayo nakakaload sa app, nakakalabas na kayo sa gate. Oo, oh, diba? <laughs> Ngayon, marunong na kayo mag-load sa cup, pero fake lang yung cup natin. <clears throat> Ang lumalabas dito ay ano, mahabang string na supposed to be unique in the whole world. So, it's very easy. <clears throat> you just have an ID na, you just have a table where there's an ID number and a RFID string. So, whenever, whenever the people type ID number, I look if there's an ID number, if it's correct, I get that one. I look if, there, if there's an ID number, I look if, if it's in the RFID, and then I get the ID number from my RFID. 
If it's not there, I also have a list of barcodes. Kasi may barcode ko, di ba? So I have a list of barcodes and RFIDs. And the account number is also ano, ID number. Meron lang two sa ano, harap, di ba? So very easy class. Ano pang tanong mo? Madali lang gumawa na kung ano-ano. Di ba? Madali lang, di ba? Hmm? Wala pang RFID chat, tapos na eh. Bakit ba problema yung cafeteria niya? Next time, gagawa tayo ng key para hindi na error ng error yung inaalis nila dyan doon. <laughs> Ang nag-error kasi doon class ay yung, pas, yung ano, hardware. Also, the decision of what operating system to put. Because I observed in the I observed in the DTR and the gate, they usually put windows. But windows, you don't know what will happen the next day. At night, it will over, ano? it will update. And the next day when you come, it says, welcome to Windows 11. So when the people come to time in and to get out of the gate, it's saying, welcome to Windows 11. <laughs> and you never know, the computer is not yours anymore. It's Microsoft's computer. So, but if you put another operating system like Mac or Linux, that's why it's nice to know many operating systems. So you are not slave to Microsoft, diba? The more options you have, the more, I know, the more options you have. The less you can be cornered. Well, if Microsoft wants to do this, okay, no problem. We'll just use uh, Ubuntu or Linux or uh, Raspberry Pi or, diba, diba? Yan. So we have many options because you don't need a big computer for the gate. You can just use a small, uh, small, small, small computer with a small, small, small browser. Okay, okay. Uh, now I will explain my code <clears throat> since we have uh, 15 minutes. 15 bayan? Oh, ano? Five. Five yata yan. Five minutes. Eight minutes. I already explained load and load submit. Now I will explain the load and the load submit. And of course, they look the same exactly. The difference between load and the load is only one character. Guess what character it is? It's the negative. <laughs> Di ba? Ito lang ilagtag ko lang. Ilagyan ko lang ng negative. Pag below ko na yan. Ilagyan ko lang negative. So pag nangyata sila ng positive 60, ang kapalang ko rin is negative 60. Di ba? Tama, di ba? Kasi yung mga positive sa cup, negative yung sa DSL. So if you can decompose your problem into smaller uh, files, it is easier to think about it. Decomposition. Decompose the big system into smaller activities. It is better for your mind, it is better also for the computer. Diba? I can also make a PHP where all of the functions are in one big PHP with all the functions and object oriented. But every time I want to run something, the parser has to read all of them. Diba? I display more on the balance, but no papa was I have to run. So there, there are many decisions that will affect uh, your design and your, your uh, scalability and the load, and also your you know, the speed of how you can think on global chip. But my Sierra, if you have long PHP, then it's a scroll. Diba? If there's a bug, you will comment half of the page. And come and half of the PHP and come and half, half, half. But if your file only has how many lines yet? How many lines to pass? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, tw
gold. The thin line stuff, front lines of gold are below. The other front lines are below. The other one is. Pwede eh. I was telling you, pwede. Ang advantage, punti ang file. Ang disadvantage, every time mag-load yung file, mas maraming binabasa yung interpreter. Kahit din namin niya kailangan basahin lahat. Di ba? So, mas mabilis umandar yung maikli. Di ba, di ba? So, the... May, for example, in IOLIS personality, I just need a long, long, long PHP. Very, very long. Because I'm from Pascal and C and uh, Java, where you make libraries. And then I read in Google documentation, they like small programs instead of big programs. Small, many programs, so that we run in milliseconds only. And I realized, and you know what, class, one more thing. If I make a long PHP, it's hard for you to understand because it's long and complicated, right? If ganto ganto ganto, if ganto ganto ganto, if ganto ganto ganto, if pang load ganto ganto, if pang below ganto ganto, if pang list ganto ganto, yah, dami ni. Tapos si store pa tayo. And then every time you want to do one thing, the PHP has to read five things, right? But if I separate files. Maraming nga lang i-open. Pero if you want to do one thing, the server only opens uh, things that are simply lang, di ba? So this is now the file. Anong file itong in-open natin? Load query. It starts here. So this is load query. We are just uh, loading the error checking. Oh, I told you I'm going to... Okay, this, this is a problem class. This is a problem. We did not use PG escape sequence here. Therefore, the hacker can theory can destroy the database. I will show you. So, ayan, hindi ko amin si Sir Pasamba na PG escape sequence dito sa load. Ayan, Load, query. May 2 minutes pa yata tayo. Dahil hindi gumamit si Sir Pasamba ng ano sa load query, sisirain natin yung database. Dali lang yan, class. Paano? Lalagyan natin ng ano? Single code. Uh, ng semicolon. Tapos lalagyan natin ng delete from <laughs> calf ledger. And then enter natin. Ano nangyari class? Ano nangyari? Tingnan natin, ba't walang laman? Select asterisk from calf ledger. Walang laman! Na walang nang laman. Wala na yung 9 million nyo. Bakit how? Ba't na wala nang laman? Kasi hindi ko nalagyan na PG escape string. The hacker who knows SQL or also knows HTTP thought, aha, meron dun select something, something and ID number. Kaya lang, alam ko sa SQL, pag nilagyan mo ng semicolon, tapos na yun. Pwede ka ulit maglagay ng isa pang SQL. So, tinapos niya na yung SQL statement after nung ID number. And nang gawa pa siya ng kanyang SQL statement. Kung dinilit niya, mapapansin mo, ba't kami nawalan ng load? Pero kung hindi nag nagdinagdagan niya yung load niya, hindi mo mapapansin. Di ba? Yung CAF naman, malay ba nila kung ilan yung load niyo dati? Makikita siguro ng DSF. So, how do we prevent uh, the hacker from deleting, <laughs> deleting our data? Madali lang. We will just put... So, what, what happens if we put... Ano, lagyan natin ng... Uh, 
Okay. May na kayo nakakita kang hacker na buhay. Lagyan natin ng PG escape. Ano na yun? String. Tingnan natin kung gagana pa rin yung SQL injection. Now you are very afraid. Kaya palang bilitin yung ating laman ng database. Lagyan mo natin ng laman plus kasi ay lagyan natin ng laman kasi naubos yung laman ng lahat ng bagay. Ito, lagyan natin na dito. Yan, may laman na siya ha. Tingnan natin kung gagana pa rin itong delete. Nakula pa rin yung laman. Hindi, load yan para sa ano? 2007769. Tingnan natin yung account ni ano. Uy, may load na. May load na ako. Wala. Ano nangyari class? Where is our hacking statement? Hindi tayo pwede mag-dismiss ng class hanggang ano, hanggang hackable yung aking system. Bawal umuwi. <laughs> Bawal umuwi kasi nahahack yung system natin. Ano nangyari sa aking system? Nadidilit pa rin. Nadidilit pa rin. Load nga ulit natin. Na-load ko natin eh. Pag binag-load ko ulit, o, oh, nag-load. Pero nag-delete pa rin. Paano natin mape-prevent yung delete? Alam ko na, class. Dapat ganito gagawin natin. Lagyan natin ng single quote to. Tingnan natin kung mag-error pa. O, nag-error siya. <laughs> Nahuhuli na natin. But I have another, I have another, ano, I have another solution. I multiply it by one. Sa isang technique ko pa yan, class. Hindi ko pa naman basa, pero ginagawa ko. Kung ano man yung kung number, if it's a number, I multiply it by one. Because if they type SQL statements, and you multiply it by one, it will have a network. But if it's in your multiply a string. So for numbers, I just multiply it by one. So that one will use a string. Pero pag kailangan talaga ng string, I think it's a sequence. And ngayon ka lang may realize, pag hindi mo lang pag-alagyan ng single code, ay i-PG escape sequence mo. Dahil wala siyang escape, wala siyang single code. Now, eh, may escape injection pa rin. So, it's safer to put single codes yan. Para hindi mapasak yung data rin. Ngayon ko lang na-realize na, pag hindi mo nilagyan ng single code, at kahit yung ano siyang PG escape sequence, Okay, I learned something in class. Nakakatakot mag-program. <laughs> diba, diba? Kaya ano, anong gagawin natin pag ganyan? Dapat may backup. At saka may logs. Anong nangyari para pwede natin i-roll back, diba? Kung may kailangan i-adjust. Tapos dapat talaga tinecheck ng accountants yung mga load. Di ba? Hindi talaga mapagbintangan yung programmer lang. Di ba? Okay. Now I will shut down because my time is over to have class. In it 6. Hindi, reboot yan. In it 0. Let's pray. Father and Lord, thank you for opportunity to learn and to learn many things. Please uh, continue to lead us and guide us, Lord, because so many things too complicated but we depend on you lord in jesus name we pray amen complicated no but if you pray to god god will tell you where the hackers 
before the hackers will uh, come because it's really complicated. And there are so many hackers. The Russians hackers, Ukrainian hackers, United States hackers, Iranian hackers. Sometimes the only way to not be hacked is not.